Maria Montessori. Maria Montessori was born in 1870. She was born in Italy with a mother and a father. Her father had a typical job for that time period, but her mother was abnormal. Her mother was a well-educated woman for the time, and she loved to learn to read and um, was a very well-educated member of society. You could tell that Montessori's mother had rubbed off on her. Uh, Montessori was extremely smart herself and ended up enrolling into an all-boys technical school. After Montessori finished technical school and then finished secondary school, she ended up going to medical school. All the odds were stacked against her at medical school, and she eventually chose a different route. Her mother had always wanted her to be a teacher, but Montessori claimed it was too easy and that too many people in that time period were doing it. Montessori ended up watching and studying special needs students. She watched them for many, many years and ended up creating the Montessori method. The Montessori method is a method where there are six basic principles that you can follow to watch and help assist students in learning. The first step is independence. The second step is observation. The third step is following the child. The fourth step is correcting the child. The fifth step is prepared environment. And the sixth step is absorbent mind. So we're gonna go back up to step one and talk a little bit more about it. So step one is independence and it is the main goal in the Montessori method. And that is to make sure that the child is independent and that they are able to do things for themselves. So if you are a parent, this would be like letting your child dress themselves at home, or if you are a teacher, letting the child help you with tasks. You could do peer grading or letting them hand out papers. The second step is observation. Um, as a parent or a teacher, you just sit back and you watch and see what the child will do. So an example of this, if a child would start banging on objects, you might want to buy them a drum, or a more simple example, if a child points at milk, they might be thirsty and need a drink. The third one is pretty self-explanatory and it is following the child. So this will help you see what they need to do, what they need to develop within themselves, and what areas they need to be challenged in. An example of this is present the child with a choice of toys. You as the adult stand back and watch. There is no need to enter into this time with the child. This is time for you to observe. Number four, correcting the child. Every child at some point or another will make a mistake so you can calmly help the child fix it. If a child mispronounces a word, do not correct them, simply say the word correctly. Number five, prepared environment. This is a time for the child to learn from the adults. In this time, all the activities should be geared toward children. Uh, while researching prepared environment, I found a quote that I felt fit pretty well with the Montessori method, and this is a quote by Maria Montessori herself. And it says, the teacher's first duty is to watch over the environment, and this takes precedence over all the rest. It influence is indirect, but unless it be well done, there is no effective and permanent results of any kind, physical, intellectual, or spiritual. We're going to move on to our last step, and that is absorbent mind. Montessori observed how children can learn the language without anyone teaching it to them. The child will easily pick up on adults' language, so be careful of what you say. So an example of this is children under the age of three do not learn from lessons, but they learn from being a part and absorbing everything in their environment. All six of these principles are applied from birth to adulthood. These six principles are meant to help assist children in learning. And after Maria Montessori created this theory, she decided that she wanted to test it on what she calls normal kids. So she moved out of the special needs realm and into a normal classroom setting at the time. Montessori found the same results and she concluded that she could use the same theory on special needs kids or normal kids. Uh, later on, Montessori eventually died in 1952 at the age of 81. Now there are over 22,000 Montessori schools in over 110 countries. And I believed that Montessori has helped form education and it wouldn't be complete without her theory.